Studio One Five is here. Adam SQ is here. The workflow for me has always been super fast in Studio One. And what you can do in the Adam SQ is just the tip of the berg here. I was super excited about this Adam SQ landing in our laps for the music production community, right? To the point where I went live. But what takes the cake for me is user presets. Intro. What's up, Creative Faces? Ella up here on set from Creative Sound. Let's dive a little bit deeper as to how to set all of this stuff up. Let me, let me show you how this goes. So in the Adam SQ, what you have to do here to set up your user presets is actually, you actually go up here and, and click here. And if you have several devices, you will see a list of things, but just make sure you go to the Adam SQ. This window will pop up here. And in this user section, there is a lot of pre-populated things that they add for you. There's four different pages, right? I could click here or I can click to wherever I need on the actual SQ itself. But the thing is that you can actually delete this and reassign these things here. So in my situation, I'll say that, hmm, I don't need to add audio track stereo. I, I just, if I need it, I can just add it later. Let's go here and assign a command and then this box will pop up and, and let's say we wanted to do something like bounce in place or bounce selection. I can go ahead and add that here. And now I have an easy command a one button command to do that instead of setting it up on my my keyboard that is is where i put everything but sometimes it gets a little complicated so it's cool to have key commands that are that's on the screen and it reads it for you and you have four pages worth of key commands to do that so let's do another one assign command and search for folder and here's one that i thought might be interest to me like early on the stream i tried expanding the folder so let's see if we just add that in there let's make a folder for that and let's uh press this new button here expand wow that's amazing so i can toggle back and forth and you know i think i like that that's that's pretty cool that's amazing so that's in my my user presets and i have four pages a lot of them i see are very useful but you know some of them i i don't see me using so it's good to know that i can go ahead and customize what i need to do all right so that's all i have for you guys right now i'm going to spend the rest of this time and just go through everything and see what i need and what i don't need and i'm gonna go ahead and assign some new presets to my newfound user area which i think is very cool and it improves the workflow of what i already do studio one is already fast but this takes the cake right here once again i'm ella from creative sound you guys take care remember music is are you the artist paint your picture stay creative without rules.